thank you be the Lord God for your blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. You give your life as a ransom. We thank you. Thank you for your people today. To gather in this house. They would have chosen to go other places. They would have chosen to stay home. But you give them a right to come to your house. And for that, we are grateful. We ask for right now, Lord God, bless us. Pour out. Fill us. Lord, feed us today. You have promised that you will not find a spot for we. You have given us your word. We are holding true to you. So bless us. Have, have your way right now. Lord God, hide me behind the cross. Touch me now. My mind, my lips. With leave of my mouth anointed, I ask. In the name of Jesus, let your word find receptive hearts today. We go for the power. Do it now, we pray. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We give you praise today, everybody. We give him praise in this house, everybody. Come on, we give him praise, we give him praise. We give him praise, we give him praise. We give him praise because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Let me ask you, are you disappointed? You sure about that now? Amen, amen, amen. Tell somebody who I came to see. Come on, tell them who I came to see. He's in the house. Don't put a smile on your faces. And sit with a praise. Let me begin before you greet us. The devil's in trouble. I wish you'd understand. One shall chase a thousand. And two put a thousand Eternally, the devil is in trouble today. You know why? I'm here. I'm holding on. Jesus is here. And it is said that one with Jesus is a majority. I guess we are more than one. We are more than two. We are more than three, four, five, six. Come on now. The devil is in trouble. Give God a praise in this house. Oh, I say, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Fill your love with him and magnify his name because he's worthy to be praised. He's a good God. He is a mighty God. He is a powerful God. He is a strong God. He is a victorious God. He's a God that defends. He's a God that fights. He promised he fight our battles. Give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Can you say that and refuse to be quiet? He's too good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Let us be the of all that's in this house this afternoon. Amen to our illustrious pastor. Amen. Amen. To Greek of Francis. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Looking so beautiful today. Amen. She's looking dapper. Amen. Look at, look at her. Amen. 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 God is a good God. Let's thank God for her. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If she should go outside and begin to cross the street, it's not because that she'll be crossing that we don't have to stop because of how she looks. It's not because we'll be crossing the church, because of how you look. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And God's children have a right to look good. I said, God's children, they do have a right to look good. Then it should, look good. It should be us. Come on, talk to me. Am I right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I greet my wife in this house today, Dallas Russell. Thank you, God, for her. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. For Minister Horn. Amen. Who's been with me. Amen. Since the last week. Amen. No, but it's a week before. It's a week before. Something's wrong. We've been here this long. Amen. 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 And God, I wonder if we can find a way back home. I think we can. Amen. Amen. The pastor knows it. We thank God for him today. Amen. 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 For Brother Paul McKenzie. We thank God for him. Amen. And for all of God's wonderful gifts. For you that are visiting us today in our service, God bless you. 
Amen. I trust that your hearts will be blessed. Amen. Because there is a blessing. There is a word. The question is, is there a word from the Lord? Yes, there is. There is a word from the Lord. And we're going to preach with you today. If you preach with me, you'll push me quick. So push me quick. So I can be out of your way. Amen. 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 If you're like me and say it because you're a person, I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. I love to make noise in the house of God. Amen. 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 Outside of church, I might be kind of sort of on the quiet side. But get me to church. Then it's a totally different attitude. Amen. Amen. Something keep me when I come to the house of God. I love to praise him. I love to magnify his name. Amen. I feel really good today to be a part of what God is doing. Amen. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing here in, in the sunny state of Florida and in Orlando to be exact. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing on Silver Star Road. And we thank God for the fire that's in his house. We thank God for the mess that is going out that God is truly in this house. Amen. I remember, uh, I think the last time we were here, I can't remember that for some time ago. Dawson, I can't forget how she met me in this house. That Sunday night. She could not contain herself. She walked out speaking in tongues. She walked along the walkway speaking in tongues. Straight out there to her car. She just could not contain herself. You know why? Because the greatness, the goodness, and the blessings of the Lord. And if there's some blessings up in here, this will come again in life. And my friend here, yeah, you're looking at me, Pastor. She said, so Pastor, why won't you leave me alone? I can't leave you alone. Amen. 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 That's right. And I will not leave you alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get me amen, some nails. Amen. I'm going to nail her foot down. Thank you, Lord. I, I think it's already nailed. It's already, uh, Pastor, it's already nailed. Amen. It's already, it's already glued amen, to 2,500. Amen. And we bless the name of Jesus. Amen. God is good, everybody. Amen. Amen. We greet those who have joined us by way of the internet. Amen. Yes, we have to, we have our own media church, you know. They follow us. Amen. They join us by way. God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. Join us today in church. Amen. God is good. Amen. We are in Florida. We just want to bless the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to ask you at this time to turn your Bibles. Ezekiel chapter number 18. Ezekiel 18. You won't be able to read all the verses. We're going to read some of the verses. Ezekiel 18. Verses 1 through 5. Then verse number 9. Skipping 2021 20, and 262 to the end, that is verse 32. If you don't mind, you can just start with me from here. If you found this, say amen. amen. All right, we're going to read together. Let's begin. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What do you mean that he needs to spoil concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, said the Lord, he shall not have occasion any more to use his proverbs in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine, and as the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine, and the soul that sinneth, it shall die. If a man be just to do that which is lawful and right. Verse number nine. I've walked in my statutes and have kept my judgments. If he do it, he is just, he shall surely live, said the Lord God. Verse number 20 to 21. The soul that sinned, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall his father be iniquity of his son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Then 
he has committed it and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. He shall not die. Verses 26 to, to 32. When a righteous man turn away from his righteousness and commit iniquity and that man for iniquity that he hath done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turn away from his wickedness that he hath committed it and do that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul in life. Because he had considered and turned away from all his transgression, that he had committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal, O house of Israel. Are not your ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his way. Said the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgression, for iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgression, whereby ye have transgressed. Make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, said the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live. God bless you. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. We said earlier, there is a word from the Lord. And I was at home last night. And I know that I have to do what I'm about to do. I asked the Lord to take me to where he wanted to. Give me what he wanted us to hear today. This is where he led me. In the book of Ezekiel. And as I looked at the word of God he began to speak to my heart and these words came to me you are accountable and in the English language we say a comma ministry you are accountable no excuse. I looked up the meaning for accountable. Subject to the obligation to report, explain, or justify something. Responsible, answerable, with excuse. To seek to remove the blame of a fault, of error. It is very easy. And because it is so easy, we practice this. We blame others for where we are. Amen. It's very easy to point finger at somebody else. Your way. Instead of being responsible enough and conscious enough to say, I'm where I am, doing what I am doing because it's me. I am doing it. It might be hard. Now go through what you go through and experience what you're experiencing. Might feel so heavy that it's difficult for you to stand and do what is necessary and needful to be done. Am I right? People today don't want to own up to the things that they are involved in. Thank you, Jesus. They want to say, yes, I am the guilty one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's easy. You come across people like those. They've never, ever owned up to anything yet. It's always because of. I'm doing this because of. 
I'm living where I'm living because of. My life is the way it is because of. Hello, somebody. I'm messed up because of. Will you help me tonight? I should be a rabbi. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But we are accountable. We are responsible for actions. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You might get hurt, but I know a God that knows how to give us strength to get over the hurt. So we don't have to say where we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might knock me down, but I don't have to stay where I've been knocked down. Oh, help me, Jesus. I've got the will and the energy and the motivation to get up. Thank you, God. And keep on going. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I refuse to let anybody or anything define my destiny. Will you help me today? I refuse to let circumstances or people determine how far I get up the road. Glory. What I accomplish. What I'm able to do. I won't allow that to happen. Praise the name of Jesus. Because something is inside of me that tells me that I can. Hallelujah. And Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So the word of God is clear in Ezekiel. The word says, verse number two, he came into the man of God as God spoke. He said, what meaning? That he used this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have struck, or eaten rather, the sour grapes, and the children of the thief have said, God said, I hear what you're saying. You walk around blaming others, you walk around pointing fear, but God said, I hear it. Because you refuse to take responsibility for the things that you are doing. Oh, come on. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God said, it's about time you stop blaming others. It's time to get up, tell somebody the blame game is over. We can talk to me today. The blame game is over. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be who God said that I am. I'm a who he said that I can be. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, so much. We hear people talk many times. They might have been born in the ghetto. Didn't have much, but they refuse to let the ghetto define who they would become. Why don't you help me today? Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's not one of us in this house today that might have been born in a rich home. Your mama might not be rich, and your daddy might not have been rich, might not have been a millionaire. But you refuse to let those situations and circumstances determine who you would become. But you tell yourself, I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of where I am. Hallelujah. I'm going to become somebody. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to achieve something in life. I'm not going to blame where I live. I'm not going to blame my mama. I'm not going to blame my daddy. I'm not going to blame society. Because crazy that is in me. That he that is in the world. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be who God says that I I am. Hallelujah. I refuse to live beneath my privileges. I refuse to do the things that I know that I should not. Hello, somebody. I'm going to do those things that God said I should and I can and I'm going to do it. Tell somebody I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sit down and we mope. We cry. We get sunken. We get. Come on, hit me. Then we turn, we turn around, Pastor. We complain. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And some of us have been locked up for so long. Oh, we find it difficult and hard to get up from where we are. But the story is told of a little bird that was captured, locked up in a cage. Thank you, Jesus. But somebody paid for the freedom of that little bird because it was in that case for so long oh bless the name of Jesus the person that purchased good God from heaven the bird's freedom had the bird opened the cage door but because the bird was in the cage for so long couldn't even see our way was made couldn't even 
the sea. The gate was open. The man that bought the bird, bird's freedom. He said, little bird, can't you see? The door is open. Little bird, you are free. You don't have to stay in here. The cage is no longer your home. Hallelujah. The cage no longer. And I is able to hold you confined. Why don't you fly out? Come on, somebody. I spread your wings. I feel the Holy Ghost. I say, spread your wings and fly. You did not get wings. You'll stay in the cage. Come on, somebody. You got wings. So you can fly. So I come to tell you, don't let your situation stop you. Don't let individuals stop you. Get up in the strength of God and go forward and conquer and achieve. Hello, somebody. Give God a praise up in here. I say, give him a praise up in here. Hallelujah. I'm responsible. Hello, somebody. I am accountable. For what I do, I'm accountable for what I achieve. Hallelujah. I made it in my mind. I'm coming to Orlando. Hello, somebody. I bought my ticket. Oh, come on now. I say, I bought my ticket. Hallelujah. I chose a seat. I wanted to sit in. Hello, somebody. So when I got to the gate, hallelujah, nobody could stop me because my ticket gave me right to get a move that plane and to sit in my seat. Nobody could come get up. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You got a right to achieve what God says. You ought to achieve. You got a right to get to the place God says. You ought to get to. Hallelujah. But I heard somebody says, I'm pressing on. Come on the upward way. You hide some gain every day. Still praying as I homeward bound. Lord, plant my feet. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I can get up here by myself. Are you here? me right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You don't have to help me. But get up ahead. I got up in me. I got Jesus. And that's enough. Come on here. Hallelujah. I am accountable. I'm not going to make no excuses. Hello, somebody. I'm going to stretch out in God. Hallelujah. I'm going to achieve the things that God says I can achieve. Hello, somebody. And you can't stop me. Oh, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. You can't stop me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God told me that I can. He said, don't say anymore. Hallelujah. That fathers eat the sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. And here I am because of somebody. God said, hear this. Hear this. He said, as I live, Said the Lord that he shall not have a vocation anymore to use his power to do his will. You've taught this long enough. You've played people long enough. And you're talking so long until this thing has got into your system. I wish I could get some help in here. I need some place up in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You talk so long until you start to look like what you're saying. Oh God. Your top, your top bound up. So look bound up. Come on, talk to me. Hallelujah. And you're taught negative until you look negative. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. But what's that? I got it. You shall no more say those things. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to mash up your dolly house. I'm going to take down the place you'll be hanging your hat on. Hallelujah. I'm bigger than that. You are where you are. Do what you're doing because of you. Not because of people. Hello, somebody. I'm going to heaven and you can't stop me. Are you hearing me? I'm going to live with Jesus forever. You can't do nothing about it. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. I don't care what roadblocks you put in my way. You know what the hindrances you throw against me. I'm still going to make it. Because God told me I can make it. Hallelujah. I will succeed. Because God told me I can succeed. And yes, he told me I work for God. You'll tell us if yes, I can. Oh, yes, 
yes I can. He doesn't matter what it looks like. Oh yes I can. Oh bless the name of Jesus. No matter nobody say, oh yes I can. You can't talk loud enough to stop me. You can't lie loud enough. I look to turn me into a fool. I know whom I believe, and I'm persuaded he's able to keep that. It's a forbidden unto him. I can't stop it. Why don't you praise him? Why don't you praise him? You got kindness today. You need to give God some praise. Why don't you show hallelujah? Oh, shout glory. Let the devil know you're getting up from where you are. Let the devil know I'm going to make some changes of my situation. Because God told me I can. Praise God. Praise God. God say, I hear you. I've been listening to you for some time. Have over somebody. I didn't call you to point your finger at others. I didn't call you to blame others. I called you to get the glory out of your life. Come on. I called you so I could take you somewhere. Do you think God saved you from nothing? I wish I had you from that beginning. You think God saved you? I woke you up this morning for nothing. He had nothing else better to do. So he said, if I get up, come on. He, he woke up to make you better. Oh, come on. He woke up to, to, to talk to you, to give you some, some positive stuff to hold on to. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you talk that people do stuff. He make you feel good. Talk the truth. Oh, yeah. And let me feel like I'm all right just where I am. Because the preacher and the pastor and the missionary and the deacon the elder, you know, they got on my nerve. They did this and they did that. So it cannot stop me. And God is not me. He's the pastor. He's not me, Lord. Hallelujah. He's the brother that keep on messing with me. But I got enough power to walk over your mess and your misery. Come on, somebody. I got enough of God to let you know, hallelujah, that I'm going to do it. And you can't stop me. I'm going to do it. And you can't do anything about it. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's have taken on the place. You've been hanging your hat. Don't try to hang it there anymore. Stop blaming others. I said, stop blaming others for where you are. I am accountable. No excuse. Come on, talk to me. God says, as long as I remain God and I'm not going to change, he shall have not have no occasion anymore to use this brother. He said, behold, all souls are mine. Yes, Lord. Lord. Is that what he says? Yes, all souls are mine. Yeah. Yeah. And the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the, soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinned shall die. So if anything happened to you, it's you. Tell somebody, it's you. Oh, come on, it's you. It's you. Amen, don't blame me. It's you. God said, all souls are his. I can keep on reading. But if a man be just, so where you are is not God. It's not who you've been pointing finger. It's you. Is that what the book said? But if a man be just and do that which is lawful and right, it's conditional, somebody. Yeah. If you walk in my statutes and I get my judgments to, to deal truly, yeah. he is just, he shall truly live, said the Lord. In other words, everything that needs to be done on your behalf, if you do what I say, God said, I will perform it. Hallelujah. If you walk before me justly, if you keep my statutes, if you keep my commandments, if you do like the books of God say, I'm going to bless you. You shall live. And maybe you just don't mean you're breathing. You're inhaling and exhaling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because that's not living all by itself. Yes, my life, but it takes more than that. You need more than that. Glory. 
Because I'm going to give you some stuff. I'm going to bless you with some stuff. I'm going to take your heart. You know, because I'm going to promote you. I'm going to do for you. Because you're doing what I said to you. You're giving. Trust me. You are walking according to my command. Do this and say, God said, I'm going to let you live. I mess up those who have been talking about you. Oh, come on. I will mess up those who have, been, who have tried to shut you up and put you down. Look at Jesus. I mess those who tried to stop your progress, both spiritually and naturally. Oh, help me, Jesus. Because all you got to do is to do what I tell you to do. All you got to do is to become obedient to my word. If you walk, if you live, if you sleep, you get up in my obedience. Can no devil touch you? Can nobody stop you? Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That's what you submit yourself unto the Lord and do it God's way. Because if you do it my way, here I come. I'm going to pour you out a blessing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you do it my way, if they black you over here, guys, I'm going to break it over there for you. Oh, help me, Jesus. If nobody can stop you. Hallelujah. Nobody can stop you. Do you understand that? Nothing can stop you. Hallelujah. They stop their sin. We just be a stepping sword. They stop their sin. We be a ladder. We keep on climbing to the very place. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. If you don't believe me, ask Brother Joseph. Oh, come on, somebody. They try to stop him. Then I talk to somebody. Hallelujah. They sold him. Oh, yes, they did. They drop him in a pit. They lock him on my prison. But when God speaks over your life, I tell us. I know when God said I can and I will not. All you need to do what God said do. He will show up. And I heard somebody said he might not come. Brother, man, when you want him, but he's going to be on time. It's not a mistake. You are here today. But God has brought you here to put something in you. You'll let you know I'm getting ready to break out. If you let me do it for you, we got to do what I say. No can't it. Oh, shut up. It should be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are responsible. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Give me to me. If I'm responsible, but we are not, I'm only responsible to get up to. God is my responsible. You see, Lord, it's my responsible. You get up. It's my responsible to be stationary. It's my responsible to move. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to move and get from God what is has got for me. Hello, somebody. Give him some praise. Up in the house. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Hallelujah. Hey! Glory! If I'm responsible to be sitting where I am, then it's my responsibility to get up too. Are you hearing me? And when I get up, I'm not just stuck. I'm not just going to stand. You are hearing me? You stand a chance if I sit down. You don't hear me? You stand a chance if I'm sitting down. Lord God, I can't do much. Sit down. But God help me if I ever get up. Hallelujah. Somebody has something going to be in trouble. If I stand up, you don't know how high I'm going to go. You know the direction I'm going to move because I'm standing. And I heard brother standing on the promises of Christ my King. To the angels that is praise the dream. Glory in the highest. I will shout and sing. Standing, don't fool me. Ah, I'm not just standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. I know where my foot is. Lord God, it is firm, it is solid. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm standing to do something. I'm I'm standing to say some stuff. Hallelujah. I'm standing because I'm going to advance. Hello, somebody. Take a praise break. I said, take a praise break. Shout a praise. Shout a praise. Sister Keisha, 
you can't win sitting down. Yeah. I said, you can't win sitting down. I've never seen a boxer in a wheelchair lose me today. Unless he retired, he's no longer fighting. But good God, if he's still in the boxing business, good God help me. And hear me, he don't win no suit to the fight. Talk to me, church. He don't put on a pretty suit. Lord God. Huh, he don't look a dapper. I'd rather man right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He don't look pretty. That Pastor Francis. Oh, God. But good, good, good. He put on his boxing gears. Come on, talk to me. He put on his boxing shorts. Oh, God, help me. Miss Ali put on his boxing shoes. He put on his boxing gloves. Lord God, before the fight, he started to jump around. I feel like jumping now in my spirit. Oh God, I love you. Ah, I'm just putting on. Let the devil know. The position know. I refuse to sit down. He got something on his hand. So I sing. I'm jumping. I praise. I'm jumping. I stop my feet. I'm jumping. I'm moving around. Ah, when the fight begins, I'm ready. Get somebody. I'm ready. Get the devil on. I'm ready. Enemy on. Ah, God. Hallelujah. He tried to stop me. Try to get me sit down. But I'm standing up. I'm standing up. I'm standing up. Hallelujah. And the devil is in trouble. Give God some praise. Yeah. Casket built right where you are. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. I said, you want to have your casket built right where you are in a place of doing nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, because a man that don't do nothing, you can't do anything with it. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Tell me, no one that God hit me. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Spirit. I hear the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So every now and then, they will come and check you out. You see, you're alive. You know him. There's a dead man. I feel the Holy Ghost. This all a dead man came talk. A dead man came over. A dead man came stand. Hallelujah. So hold on to yourself. You will never shout and give God praise. You tell them you're dead. The camera, you're ready for burial. You're ready for the surgery. But no devil go marry me. I said, No demon go marry me. I'm gonna open my mouth. I'll let you know I'm alive. I'm still got some. And my blood is running warm in my veins. Lord of mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you try to hold me, I'm gonna kick. You know him. If you try to hold me, I'm gonna knock. If you try to hold me, I'm gonna shout a praise. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let when the devil check you, let him find you moving. That's when the devil check you, let him find you breathing. Hello, church. Not just with your signs going out. Hallelujah. Not just with you, just how to do it anything. Let the devil know you're alive. Let the devil know I'm still kicking. I'm alive and I'm well. Oh, hallelujah. Things might not be right, but I'm alive. I still got a praise. Oh, God, I love you today. After all that I've been going through, I still got my praise. I still got my hallelujah. I still got my glory. Hello, somebody. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. There was a man. That was in the tomb. God help me up in here. Hallelujah. He lived amongst the tombs. Hallelujah. He was there. So that's the place he was supposed to be. In the cemetery. But when God, you don't hear me today. I said, when God passed through the cemetery and saw this man amongst the tombs. Hallelujah. When God got through with him. Hallelujah. He made today. 
You might be in a cemetery. You might be living amongst the tombs. But there's a God in the house. He's passing through the graveyard. Help me, Jesus. He's passing to give you life. He's passing to resurrect you. He's passing to do something. To change some things. Hallelujah. But they told me, Brother Dominic, when God got you working on him, and he realized he was free and no longer bound, no more chains holding him. Ah, he realized he could go in a different direction. He just didn't sit down. He didn't fold his arms when the chains fell off. Hear God Almighty. They told me that God told him, don't make a sound. Don't tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Lord, I could tell somebody else, I'm free, I'm redeemed. Come on, somebody, he's made a change in my life. Hallelujah, it's up to you. Tell somebody, it's up to you. It's up to you, it's up to you. I said, tell somebody, it's up to you. You can make a difference. You ought to make a difference. You can make a change in your situation. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah! What a mighty God. What a mighty God. So God says, let me read this again. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm almost through. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, if you walk in my statutes, and kept my judgments to deal truly. He is just. He shall. Check this word. Surely. That's God talking. Surely. It means God said, I dare the devil to stop this. You're not hearing me. I dare the demons to shut it down. God said, as long as you do your part. You've given me authority to do some stuff for you. Yes. If you do your part, God says, I'm the truth. I'll show you over your life. There's a surely over your life. Glory, somebody. I said, surely over your life. Yeah, he might have gotten so a little bit. Go ahead, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You would have thought that God has forgotten because there's a surely. With God's holy, the devil can't stop her. God's holy, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mission at the back there, Lord. I can't forget your name already. Dawson, I should remember that I know some Dawson's. Hallelujah, they can't shut you down, they can't shut you down, they can't shut you down, they can't quiet you. What God has put in you is a surely, He has lit in your life. Hallelujah, oh God. Jesus, oh help me, Lord. I hear the Holy Ghost. They're still wondering, are you still for the fire? You're not hearing me. They're still wondering, are you still for the life? Lord, get to shut up. You're still speaking. You're still manifesting in the spirit. Hallelujah. They tore some stuff at you, but it can't stop you. Lord God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. They try to shut you down. They try to lock you. Look at that. There's a break of spirit that God placed in you. You kept on walking, and God's holy is right there to perform His word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Don't you want God's holy to work for you? Don't you want God's holy to work for you? So God said, this is it. If you do what I tell you, surely, woo, have a truth. Without any hindrances, surely, you shall. Surely, not you may. Now surely, there's a possibility. Surely, you shall become a terror in the devil's face. 
for me. Yes, yes, yes. But every time they see you, they get upset. Every time they see you, they get upset. They get mad. Hello, somebody. But that's on them. You're walking in God's holy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, right today. They can't stop your praise. They can't stop your hallelujah. They can't stop your touch. They can't stop your soul. Hallelujah. Every time you do that, hallelujah. They never get upset. Hallelujah. And you go back and plan again. Oh, to shut you down. But what is planning? God already made a way. He'll break you out. Oh, Jesus. God help me. I feel God up in here. I feel the Holy Ghost. You stop. Gas station this morning, not the little one, but the spiritual one. You stop at God's gas station, He's filling your, your spirit with our truly and our truly. Hey, hallelujah! 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 I hear someone say, Fight is on. Oh, Christian soldier, face to face, it's your array. We now are clean and color swimming right around here today. Hallelujah! Be strong, God. I'm being a weary. Help me, somebody. Hallelujah. The God before us is by the us. We'll sing the bitter song. We'll sing the bitter song. We'll sing the bitter song. Hallelujah. I'm accountable. So no excuse. Hello, somebody. I'm getting up and I'm going forward. Hello to get what's mine. Can you give me five more? Yeah. God, God. That's it. The word God says. Verse number three. It's not so that sin. It shall die. The sun that shall not be able to give up. That's it. I'm not just God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Never shall the father be lifted of the sun. The rightness of the, of, of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But there is a comfort and a judge. If the wicked will turn, this is a positive but. All he says, that he come and keep on and get on thy statutes. And do that which I have, that which is lawful and right. He shall hear me more again. Surely live. And not die. So all those have been praying for your die, tell them to keep on praying. All they be hoping that you turn out to be nothing. Tell them to keep on hoping. Hallelujah. Because God said, I shall not die. Live. Surely. Assignment. Oh God, devil, you hear me, devil, you hear me. You can do nothing with it. I'm an assignment. 
Orlando Pastor Russell is on assignment. I don't have them on assignment. I got to take me to Orlando. I'm still on assignment. I know trap, no devil, no demon. Can't stop this assignment. I got a truly and a surely over my life. Hallelujah. For Brother Peter, locked up in jail. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. For the church, we're in a prayer meeting. I want the church to pray. God called one of his lieutenants, one of his soldiers. He said, my son Peter, I spoke of the truly over his life. I told the devil to back up. I told the demons they can't touch him. I'm sending you tonight while my servant is in jail to break him out. Lord, there's an angel to break you out. Thank you, Jesus. Angel on assignment to break all God's people. But most of them been locked up in and to keep them freedom to do what God has given them to do. So the Bible said, Peter, he might have thought that was it. But hear me today, when you step out and God truly he's got to honor it. Because when the man went to jail, he did not go by doing nothing. He did because it was a truly over his life. Ah, oh, God. The Bible says, while Peter was here, the angel up. Come on. Come on, minutes of sleep. Lord Jesus. I said, sleep. Lord God. I said, sleep. I said, sleep. Lie down, not me. I said, sleep. I said, sleep. Hey. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Jesus, the man is asleep. Oh God. And his sleep was not restful either. Hallelujah. He was a thinking man between what his life was going to become. What would happen to him. But in the night, in the dark dungeon, looks the Holy Ghost. Lord God. When nobody else was there. Lord of mercy. Truly showed up. Oh God, I bless you. I said, truly showed up. Truly got in the jail. Lord Jesus, past the jailkeeper. Hallelujah. Truly past the gate. Undetected. Heaven's stealth technology came in undetected. Didn't even know that truly had entered the jail. They didn't hear him coming. They didn't see him moving. But truly walked in and truly knew where God's servant was. Trust me to tell you, there were other prisoners up in there. As other prisoners up in that jail, but truly know where his truly son was, and truly got in, in Peter's hallelujah. He said, I said, Peter, get up. I must be dreaming. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Take this off. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For truly, he said, come on. Get up, Peter. Don't get up yet. Hallelujah. You already sleep. Now you got up. Hallelujah. Truly talking. I said, truly talking. Truly have a voice. I said, truly have a voice. He said, come on, Peter. I know you're fighting what you're dreaming. But this is no dream. Put on your shoe. Oh, come on now. I'm here for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put on your coat, Peter. Oh, yeah. I didn't come to leave you. I come to break you out. Undetected. Lord God Almighty. Are you ready for the undetected? Break out that God is about to perform in your life. In your situation. In your circumstances. What is coming? His eyes were. Hallelujah. And they told me, oh, bless the name of Jesus. When Peter put his shoe on and put his coat on, he did the other super real. Something was real. I didn't have no shoe on, but I heard something tell me, put up my shoe. Hallelujah. He went to the next.
next instruction. He said, Follow me. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. The jail door was open. The prison door was open. He didn't stop it. He said, Come with me, Peter. Truly it's here to deliver you. Truly it's here to rescue you. Truly it's here to set you free. Come with me. Hallelujah. Truly it's here to do what I said. I'll never leave you. Never forsake you. We always, even to the end. Ain't no come here, Peter. I'm here to set you free. So truly, he kept on walking. The prison door open. He kept on walking. There was one more obstacle. Let me tell you this today. When God speaks truly, nothing can stop you. Are you hearing me? Oh, God. Oh, God. When God speaks, nothing can stop it. Nothing can hinder it. Hello, somebody. But truly kept on talking. And truly kept on leading. Walked up to the gate. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The locked gate. The locked prison door. God said, you think I'm joking? Check the street. If you think the first one was a mistake, wait till the second one is. The, 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 the gate to the prison open. Yes, come on, Peter. If you walk with God truly, you can't be stopped. You can't be hindered. You can't be locked down. You can't be locked up. But truly, if the, Lord, the gate swung open.
spirit don't knock. I said, spirit don't knock. There's a real man up there. And the real man look like Peter. God, somebody got the boldness. Lord Jesus. Okay. Let's take a look. Good God from heaven. Hallelujah. When they got up and checked, it was Peter for real. Truly broke him up. I said, truly broke him up. God, you shall truly, truly live and shall not die. Nothing will do what they said before to do. God said, I come and I paralyze it. I break it down and I break it up. Hello, somebody. I remove everything. He goes, send the stop. God said, take it out. Stop it. 
He tried. He tried. But he failed. God is brought to you here today to impregnate your spirit with a true new word. With a true new word. You say, no, you are his. He is yours. And you will do just what he said. God bless you. Thank you. Come to no longer tarry. I will load you there. 
Give me every burden. Bring me every care. Hallelujah. My sister, I don't know your name, but as you get to see the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And if you do have a home, a brother, a church, a family reunion, a new assembly, once again, man, folks, that's what we're taught for. But we just want to say thank you for coming. We appreciate that you made this house, the house of worship on today. May the Lord bless and hope that the word we spoke over you will receive some things. If you can, if you can. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is looking for anybody and everything. Hallelujah. All he wants is somebody to say yes to him. Bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for the word you spoke into our hearts of today. Lord, help and touch the high vent in our hearts that we may not sin against the Lord and the Lord become more stronger from day to day. Help us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to recognize who we have with us, that we have grace and mercy. We have your truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, surely. Go before us, we pray today. Bless us, keep we pray. Hide him under your blood. Bless as we go from this house to wherever we go. Bless we come back on tonight and pray even more to you. You know what makes us say. Have your own sweet way. We lift to the table. Give your thanks right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 together for her. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Mr. Christina says she want to be saved. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus is the answer for the whole world today. And then we're going to make the preparations and Sir Pastor is going to do the work the work that needs to be done. Amen. 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 Because Jesus is calling. Amen. When you can say yes to him, the best thing you could ever say, the best thing you could ever do is accept the Lord Jesus into our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just pray with her. Just pray with her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, hear the blessed Savior calling the oppressed. Oh, ye happy laden, come to me and rest. I'm no longer tarry, I alone will bear. Bring me every burden, bring me every care. You say, come, come, come unto me. And I will give you rest. Together, now unto him 
that is able to keep us from falling and to present us spotless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, we ascribe power, dominion, and majesty, both now and forever. All God's people shout. Two more times. One more time. The blood of Jesus. God bless you. See you this afternoon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. I am in tears because of what Christina said to me. I heard Christina yesterday morning while she was in the bathroom thanking Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She has unintended Jesus. She got sick when she was 29 years old. She's fairly intelligent. She knows what's going on around her. But when she said to me she wanted to be saved, I remember when I said to God, why are you giving me all these broken pieces? I knelt down in my house and praying for them. And I said, God, why are you giving me all these broken pieces? He said, I'm going to teach you how to mend it. This is a broken piece that God has placed in my life. This is a broken, I said, broken, broken piece. I'm begging you, help me to pray for Christina. Because she knows what she wants. And she knows the Lord. She knows the Lord. So we are going to plan. And we're going to help her to get there. Amen. We're going to yes. baptize her in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we know healing is in the blood. Yes. We know that healing is in the blood. Yes. And the testimony will speak to you. Amen. Go in peace. And I